Hi, my name is Lizzie Unger and I am here to talk to you about Beyond Survival. Beyond Survival will help individuals and community-based health organizations use innovative technology to reduce the risk of overdose death. The overdose epidemic has been devastating across the country, but it's been especially hard here in Baltimore and here in Maryland. In Maryland, overdose deaths more than doubled from under 1,000 in 2013 to over 2,400 in 2018. This loss of life is even more tragic because overdose is preventable. Underneath this epidemic of overdose, there's another silent epidemic, one of disconnection, of loneliness, and of trauma. One of the biggest predictors of um, lifetime drug use and risk of overdose is exposure to childhood trauma. A lot of folks are using drugs just to try to survive. Um, but drug use is so heavily stigmatized that they're not comfortable talking to their friends or family about their struggles and often use that stigma and shame to hide what they're doing and to feel just like they can't openly talk about it. Um, Narcan reverses an opioid overdose and is very effective, but it's only effective if someone is there to give it. And a lot of people wind up using drugs alone despite the high risk because of that shame and stigma. Baltimore is fortunate to have a lot of great harm reduction organizations. Harm reduction is a philosophy and an intervention style that aims to keep people um, healthy and safe regardless of the choices they make. Harm reduction means respect, dignity, and compassion for everyone. And Baltimore has a lot of wonderful organizations who really care about people who use drugs and are out there giving out Narcan, giving out information, and there to um, show support and love for folks who really need it. But the problem is that they have limited tools at their disposal. Beyond that moment of interaction when they're giving away supplies or Narcan, um, there's not a lot they can do to keep people safe. And communities and health organizations are devastated to see people they care about and love lost to overdose again and again. And there's a feeling of a loss of control. People want to help save these lives. Um, that's where Beyond Survival comes in. Beyond Survival will improve the lives of the people most impacted by drug use and overdose by helping community-based health organizations use innovative new technology to reduce overdose deaths. We are partnering um, with, well, collaborating with the Vancouver-based organization Brave that is developing uh, technology to reduce the risk of overdose. And in particular, there's one intervention we really want to bring here to Baltimore City, and that is the Be Safe app. So what is Be Safe? Be Safe is an app that will connect people at risk of overdose with a supportive peer when they are alone and most at risk of overdose. Um, how it works is that that individual will log in, download Be Safe, and they can anonymously be connected with a supportive peer. The two of them can talk, establish trust, go over details like where the person is, how to access them, and then that peer is available for remote supervision while that person engages in high-risk drug use, and they can, you know, talk through it during this whole time. Um, the individual's location is private unless they become unresponsive and the other person on the line suspects that there's been an overdose. And in that case, they'll get the exact GPS of where that person is, and they can call 911 and send help. So Be Safe has been developed by um, Brave in Vancouver, and it has been tested there with folks um, who work with an overdose prevention site, peers and people who use drugs. Um, but it hasn't been used out, really outside of Vancouver much, and it has never been um, used in this area. It is a very, very new technology and new intervention. And Beyond Survival wants to bring this life-saving technology here to Baltimore City. This is just an example. You can see some of the screenshots. I think my face is blocking the first one, which is a GPS. Um, I think it, it's important because you get an exact GPS of wherever you are, and then you know you can connect with the peer. And that all um, the interface is really accessible and easy to use. So 
This technology is needed now more than ever. BeSafe can be a lifeline that's accessible anytime, anywhere, so people don't have to feel alone and don't, are not at high risk of overdose even when they are alone. Um, right now with the coronavirus crisis, a lot of services have been cut off or dramatically reduced. A lot of people are removed from the support services which they rely on and um, we know that people are socially isolating, but that doesn't mean drug use will stop. That doesn't mean the risk of overdose will stop. What it does mean is that people are scared and isolated and alone, and that's why they need a lifeline to, su to support that they can access remotely. Um, as I said, we're going to run a pilot of Be Safe here in Baltimore City, and we need $5,000 to run that pilot. The money will directly go to peers and people who use drugs who will be part of testing the app and giving feedback. Um, we really want to design this collaboratively with the people who need it most. And to do that in an equitable way, we need to be able to compensate people, not to mention that uh, folks are in need of money now more than ever. And being able to work on a subject that directly impacts them and get compensated can make a huge difference in people's lives. But beyond just the pilot, once we run it and prove that it can be a safe and effective intervention here in Baltimore City, then we will be able to widely uh, promote it with people who use drugs and help harm reduction organizations themselves use this technology to help support their clients and help save lives and prevent overdose. So um, I hope that you're interested in helping make Beyond Survival and the Be Safe pilot a reality. Please contact me. My information is here on the screen. And uh, thank you so much for your time.